Julian Assange is editor-in-chief of WikiLeaks. This weekend, the WikiLeaks website posted nearly 400,000 Iraqi war, war logs and secret battlefield reports. He's in London. We welcome him back to Larry King Live. If we read through all these documents, what's the significant thing we learned that we didn't know before, Julian? Oh, it, there's a, an exact answer to that question, at least for part of the material. The Iraq Body Count is an organization that has been collecting uh, the reports of people's deaths in the media in Iraq since 2003. We joined this extraordinary collection of 400,000 reports with their database, and we found 15,000 civilian casualties that had never previously been reported. Now, there's a lot of other material that's uh, not being reported either, but let us keep in mind that that 15,000 just between 2004 and 2000, end of 2009 uh, mentioned in, this, in these records is equivalent to some uh, six uh, 9-11s. The other material, uh, you know, it's extraordinary range, but um, we can see uh, the torture uh, of um, detainees after Abu Ghraib by coalition forces on over 300 uh, incidences, 284 reports. Uh, we can see thousands of cases uh, of uh, reports of detainee abuse by the Iraqi government, the new Iraqi government, uh, covered up or, or not investigated, uh, not intervened uh, by uh, the United States military. Who was hiding this? That's a, an interesting question. You know, the, the Pentagon came out um, yesterday and said, well, um, this material, there's nothing new in this material, which is precisely what they said um, uh, with our Afghan um, release as well. Well, of course, there's nothing new to them in the material, uh, but there's a lot new to the rest of the world. Uh, they were totally well aware of this. Uh, the reports are internally designated as significant actions. So this is what the U.S. Army internally thinks is significant enough to keep around and record. So one of the things we can see is that, um, <coughs> that so the deaths of civilians uh, and the deaths of people listed as insurgents was counted since 2004, uh, despite uh, state, repeated statements over the years uh, that the U.S. military uh, did not have an ability to count or estimate um, the number of civilians killed. Um, the hiding of, of the material um, you know, it, this covers every facet of, of the war, so we can see uh, hundreds uh, of in incidences where um, what is said in public uh, differs to uh, what is said in private, but the, the material itself um, comes from uh, the, uh, the, the Pentagon's or the, the, uh, the Army's, well, rather, um, central collection. We'll hear from a Pentagon spokesman right after this. CNN correspondent Chris Lawrence interviewed Pentagon correspondent Jeff Morrell on Friday about WikiLeaks' plan to post the nearly 400,000 classified documents. He asked what the Pentagon's biggest fear was. Watch. Our biggest fear is that, that it potentially puts our forces in even greater danger than they inherently are in these battlefields. Uh, that it will expose tactics, techniques, and procedures, how they operate on the battlefield, how they respond uh, under attack the capabilities of our equipment, and then things such as how we cultivate sources, how we work with Iraqis. Julian, how do you respond to that? Well, you know, uh, the Pentagon has been pushing the propaganda line that the war in Iraq is finish, finished. Uh, and if that's true, uh, the statement by Jeff uh, Morrell, the uh, Pentagon spokesperson, has no meaning. But, you know, this material uh, doesn't mention it, uh, any soldiers' names, doesn't mention any names of um, Iraqi civilians. The only uh, lives at, at risk here, uh, sorry, the only thing at risk here uh, is the reputations of the politicians and bureaucrats uh, that put these soldiers uh, into harm's way and who put Iraqis uh, into harm's way to the degree that uh, the material in total uh, covers uh, 285,000 uh, 285, uh, casualties, uh, civilian and otherwise, during this war. 60% of which um, are civilian, according to these reports.